In the name of the law, the beneficent, the merciful, Aleph, Lam, Mim, Ra. These are verses of the scripture, that which is revealed unto thee from thy Lord is the truth, but most of mankind believe not. Allah it is who raised up the heavens without visible supports, then mounted the throne, and compelled the sun and the moon to be of service. Each runneth unto an appointed term, he ordereth the course, he detaileth the revelations, that haply ye may be certain of the meeting with your Lord. And remember, we're using a gender-neutral masculine here. And he it is who spread out the earth and placed therein firm hills and flowing streams. Out of all fruits, he placed therein two spouses. He covereth the night with the day. Lo, here and verily are portents for people who take thought. And in the earth are neighboring tracts, vineyards, and plowed lands, and date palms, like and unlike. which are watered with one water, and we have made some of them to excel others in fruit. Lo, herein verily are portents for people who have sense, and if thou, won and if thou wonderest, then wondrous is their saying, when we are dust, are we then forsooth? In a new creation, such are they who disbelieve in their Lord, such have carcans on their necks, such are rightful owners of the fire, they will abide therein, and they bid thee hasten on the evil rather than the good, when exemplary punishments have indeed occurred before them, before them, but lo, thy Lord is rich in pardon for mankind, despite their wrong, and lo, thy Lord is strong in punishment. And the fruit plants, basically, we've said, um, to clear up something in verse 3, getting rumbly in the tumbly. Those who disbelieve say, if only some portent were sent down upon him from his Lord, thou art a warner only, and for every folk is a guide. Allah knoweth that which every female beareth, and that which the wombs absorb, and that which they grow. And everything with him is measured. He is the knower of the invisible and the visible, the great, the high exalted, alike of you, is he who hideth the saying. And he who noiseth it abroad, he who lurketh in the night, and he who goeth freely in the daytime, for him are the angels ranged before him and behind him, who guard him by law's command. Lo, law changeth not the condition of the folk, until they change that which is in their hearts. And if a law willeth misfortune for a folk, there is none that can repel it, nor have they a defender. Besides him, besides him, he it is who showeth you the lightning, a fear, and a hope, and raiseth the heavy cloud, the thunder hymneth his praise, and the angels offer him, and the lightnings for awe of him. He launcheth the thunderbolts, and smiteth with them whom he will, while they dispute concerning a law. And he is mighty in wrath. Unto him is the real prayer. Those unto whom they pray beside Allah will respond to them not at all, save as one who stretcheth forth his hand toward his hands towards water, that it may come into his mouth, and it will never reach it. The prayer of disbelievers goeth astray, and unto a law falleth prostrate whatsoever is in the heavens and the earth willingly or unwillingly, as do their shadows in the morning and the evening hours. Wallahi as judu manfi samawata walarna.
Dawan wa karhawa relahum belungundu welasau. And prostrating upon the seven points, knees and toes, facing back up. <laughs> Say, who is Lord the heavens and the earth? Say, Allah, take ye them beside him for protectors which even for themselves have neither benefit nor hurt, say is the blind man equal to the seer, or is darkness equal to light, or assign them, or assign they unto Allah partners who created the like of his creation, so that the creation seemed alike to them, say Allah is the creator of all things. And he is the one, the Almighty, he sendeth down water from the sky, so that the valleys flow according to their measure, and the flood beareth swelling foam from that which they smelt in the fire in order to make ornaments and tools, rise at the foam like unto it. Thus Allah coineth the true and the false, then as for the foam it passeth away as scum upon the banks, while as for that which is of use to mankind, it, it remaineth in the earth, and therewith the like thereof, they would proffer it as ransom. Such will have a wo woeful reckoning, and their habitation will be hell, a dire abode. Is he who knoweth that which is revealed unto thee from thy Lord, is the truth like him who is blind, but only men of understanding heed? such as keep the pact of Allah, and break not the covenant, such as unite that which Allah hath commanded should be joined, and fear their Lord, and dread a woeful reckoning, such as persevere in seeking their Lord's countenance, and are regular in prayer, and spend of that which we bestow upon them secretly and openly, and overcome evil with good, and theirs will be the sequel of the home, gardens of Eden which they enter along with all who do right of their fathers and their helpmates and their seed. The angels enter unto them from every gate. Peace be upon you, because ye persevered. Ah, passing sweet will be the sequel of the home, and those who break the covenant of Allah after ratifying it, and sever that which Allah hath commanded should be joined, and make mischief in the earth. Theirs is the curse, and theirs the ill abode. Allah enlargeth livelihood for whom he will, and straighteneth. And they rejoice in the life of the world, whereas the life of the world is but brief comfort as compared with the hereafter. Those who disbelieve say, if only a portent were sent down upon him from his Lord, say, lo, Allah sendeth whom he will astray, and guideth unto himself all who turn. And See, it's the people, the people taking in this guidance. It's not that God leaves anybody astray. Because that, that, that just doesn't sound right as a way to render that. Who have believed and whose hearts have rest in the remembrance of Allah, verily in the remembrance of Allah do hearts find rest, those who believe and do right. Joy is for them and bliss their journeys end. And thus we send thee unto a nation 
before whom no nation, uh, but before whom other nations have passed away, that thou m mayest recite unto them that which we have inspired in thee, while they are disbelievers and the beneficent, say, He is my Lord, there is no God save him, in him do I put my trust, and unto him is my recourse. Had it been possible for a lecture to cause the mountains to move, are the earth to be torn asunder, are the dead to speak? Nay, but the laws is the whole command. Do not those who believe know that, had a law willed, he could have guided all mankind. As for those who disbelieve, disaster ceaseth not to strike them because of what they do, or it dwelleth near their homes, until the threat of a law come to pass. Lo, a law faileth not to keep the tryst. Now, see, God could have made everybody guided. But, you know, God let people choose whether or not the guidance that was there was going to be something they accepted. And verily messengers were mocked before thee, but long I bore with them those who disbelieved. As long as I seized them, and at length I seized them, and how was my punishment? Is he who is aware of the deserts of every soul? Yet they ascribe unto a law partners, say, name them, is that ye would inform him of something which he knoweth not in the earth, or is it but a wave speaking, nay, but their contrivance is made seemingly fair for those who disbelieve, and they are kept from the right road. He whom Allah sendeth astray, for him there is no guide. For them is torment in this, in the life of the world, and verily the torment of the hereafter is more painful, and they have no defender from Allah. See, from that, from who takes in this guidance regarding God. For them is torment in the life of the world, and barely the doom of the hereafter is more painful, and they have no defender from Allah, a similitude of the garden, which is promised unto those who keep their duty, underneath it rivers flow, its food is everlasting, and its shade. This is the reward of those who keep their duty, while the reward of disbelievers is the fire. Those unto whom we gave the scripture rejoice in that which is revealed unto thee, and of the clans there are who deny some of it, say, I am commanded only that I serve Allah and ascribe unto him no partner, unto him my cry, and unto him is my return. And thus have we revealed it, a decisive utterance in Arabic, and if thou shouldest follow their desires after that which hath come unto thee of knowledge, then truly wouldst thou have from Allah no protecting friend, nor defender. Now every scripture that's been revealed, it's important to refer to the original, particularly if you think there's a problem, because very often, like as I've been pointing out, um, what would be a problem isn't a problem in Arabic. And verily we sent messengers before thee, and we pointed for them wives and offspring, and it was not to any messenger that he should bring a portent save by Allah's leave. For everything there is a time prescribed. Allah effaceth what he will, and establish it. And with him is a source of ordinance, whether we let thee see something of that which we have promised them, or make thee die. Thine is but conveyance, ours is the reckoning. See they not how we visit the land, reducing it of its outlying parts, Allah doometh. There is none that can postpone his doom, and he is the swift at reckoning. Those who were before them plotted, but all plotting is Allah's. He knoweth that which each soul earneth. The disbelievers will come to know for whom will be the sequel of the home. They who disbelieve say, Thou art no messenger. Say, Allah, and whosoever hath true knowledge of the scripture is sufficient witness between me and you.